So I feel like if people gonna tell it about me, I'm gonna tell you both sides. You right. feel what I'm saying? Well, this is what you're gonna be getting. So when it came to this book, I think what make this book so different from everybody. And matter of fact, out now. But out go now, ahead. Out now. Definitely. So I think what make this book different from everybody else's is like I'm, I'm touching every group of people, whether it's mm-hmm. sports, whether it's politics, whether it's game uh, membership, whether it's uh, criminal justice reform, a college student. Man, I'm touching like so, you're going to learn something from that book. If you alive, subscribe. Man, look. Tonight is beautiful in Nashville. The sun has been out today. It was cold yesterday, but the sun came out today, so I knew it was gonna be a good day today. I knew I had a I know I had a major interview today. And I know this guy, um, he's just a he's just a good guy. And he's been here, he's been there, he's been in so many different lanes. But look, uh, I wanna say something real quick. My intentions when I first started this show, it wasn't to really do the artist, you know what I'm saying? As in the rap artists and stuff like that. I didn't want my platform just to be about that because I felt like everybody already had that lane. But with me being the Nashville civilian that I am, and I know we put our rap on another level. And I know we haven't got the chance that we deserve, but um, anybody I, 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 I that come on here, the rap, I say this, I always let them know that I'm not gonna say, hey, tell them what platform you on, tell them, because your name should speak for itself. Like, um, every time I put out a video, I always put on all platforms. If you're an artist and I can't Google your name and everything don't come up, Amazon, uh, Apple, Spotify, YouTube, that means you got a little more work to do. You know what I'm saying? As a first, we're fans. You know what I'm saying? Shout out, shout out to Fridge. My boy Fridge here, real quick, and I, you know what I mean? So I'm fun. just going here, Fridge, because I know you are like a fan to me. You're a fan just like me, you know what yeah, I mean, when it comes right. to the artist. So, and I want to get into that real quick, but man, shout out to Fridge, man, for coming. I want to thank you, man. How's everything going, Fridge? Going good, man. Much love, fam. I appreciate you having me. Going good. Look, Fred, Joe, I always talk about the rap community in Nashville because I believe in them. You know what I'm saying? And when I when I say uh, all-star against Buck or, like, they kind of take it wrong sometimes. I ain't saying against. I'm just always lifting up by OGs. I'm keeping their name alive. You know what I mean? But, Fred, I know you, you've been around just like I have, like, what do you think about the rap community as being a fan, and what do you expect from that community, just with you being who you are? Uh, the rap community as a fan, like you say, man, I'm most definitely a fan. You feel what I'm saying? So my my expectations of the rap community is big. Yeah. I respect the artists that done came through here, and I, and I understand, bro, you know, being competitive is what it is. You feel what I'm yeah, saying? Even yeah. if, if a dude ain't rapping no more, they're still competitive. You feel what I'm saying? So, you know, it's certain it's certain standards, you know what I mean, we expect out of them, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah, and then, but you being from our South, you know what I'm saying, right. and, I, and I always say this, you know, South and East, we always had that, you know what yeah, I'm saying, that, yeah. that competitive thing. And I think back in the day it was kind of, it wasn't so good, but now it's kind of like we kind of mingle together and get together like, Free, what you think like now with the South and East thing, like we cool or what's going on with that highs I vibe in your mind? You know what I'm saying? I think it's straight. I think I think the people that need to be straight with each other, that's what it is. You yeah. feel what I'm saying? Back then it was a little rocky. You feel it what I'm was, saying? It was, it was, yeah. But it was about being competitive. We both had pride from each side. You feel what I'm saying? So, you know, me being from Belzer Gang area, you know what I mean? Shout out, hold up. I'm glad you said that. Shout out to Vac. Definitely, man. Vac D, that's Look, my guy. I don't know Vac like that, but um, every time I see dude, man, it's always on some positive. Uh, this is what I respect about Vac when he said when he bought he bought probably about ten aquani, you know what I mean, hoodies and said I'm gonna wear this shit like designer. You know what I'm saying? And this is what I respect about it is if if, if we got people that's doing something from where we from, why not we spending with them or supporting them? Oh, you gotta do that, man. We got to, man, because the minute. They get outside this city and get the and get the recognition they deserve, and then it's like they don't turn up, they back on us or this, yeah. that, and other. 
So we got to put that foot forward to support him, man. And Vac been one of them dudes, man. I ain't never, I ain't saying this because it's my guy, but you know, yeah. I ain't never even heard Vac hate on a nigga. So where do Vac put himself in this rap world? You know what I'm saying? I ain't never heard Vac talk no miss. I ain't never heard Vac speak up. Vac, if you out there, speak up. I ain't never, where do you put Vac? Say, what do Vac put himself? Where do, what, what do you, that's your friend. Do you Vac, know what I mean? You, you should know. Man, where do Vac put himself in this shit? Man, Vac respect the OGs. Okay. But he ain't taking second to nobody. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That man yeah. jumped out of the porch at 14 years old and made a hit for the city. You feel what yeah. I'm saying? So, you know, he, he got that kind of swagger that he ain't putting nobody above him. Put Every track he featured on, he bringing it. Bring it. So, a nigga come, come behind Vac, you got to have your first right. And then, and then Vac, uh, shout out to you again, Vac. I don't know how you did this, but you had everybody in the video, the uh, 20 summers, you know what I'm summer, saying? All the 20 summers, yeah. But that again, it kind of let me know like what kind of level he on, on the strength of. Who came out of support. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And so look, Fridge, I'm sorry I got to do you like this. Um, I know you don't drink. You don't really do nothing. But this is what I told Juvenile. Juvenile was down here the other day. Shout out to Juve. Shout out to Juve Juice. Shout out to Juve Juice. And this is what I told him when I bought this drink. I said, man, I said, the next show I have, yeah. I'm going to pop that Juba Juice, and I'm going to have to get whoever to drink with me. You just happen to be the next show. I landed on him. You know what I'm saying? Nah. And, and I told I told Juba, shout out to d tape for looking out for me, for, right. for plugging me in with that. But I told Juvi that we was going to have to get on that Juba Juice. Have to get on. You got to do what you got to do. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You know sure. what I mean? And, sure. and friends don't even, you know what I mean? Yeah. And so I'm testing it for the first time, just Maybe. like you. You Maybe. know what I'm saying? So yeah, we we pop we popping Juve juice. <laughs> you know what I mean? Shout out to Juve. Yeah. Uh, what I respect about Juve is fridge, and I got the video. He said on there, Nashville where it started at. Right. And so my thing again, we going back to the rap community. If we got the out of town people talking about this way it started at for them, like yeah. why you think it's kind of a little slow for us? Is our time gonna come or, or what? Just what do you? Even though we ain't in the rap world like that, but we in the entertainment. Right. What you think? I, th I think we're gonna we gonna catch up, man. You know what I mean? I just feel like a lot of times, bro. You know, social media play a big part in this too. So now <laughs> when a juve is saying that about the city, you know what I mean? It's, it go farther than it would if he was just saying it behind closed doors Those. twenty years ago. Back, so I'm saying, back, so, yeah. yeah, and so shout out to Juba again, and we want that cash money hot boy tour ASAP, like oh, I always. I've been been speaking on that, but okay, look, for this, is what I want to ask you, straight, bro. I like it. It is straight. No, nah, it ain't good, doing ain't too it? much. It's it just on point. You yeah, know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, it's good. Sure. Shout out, shout out to Juba again on that. But okay, Fridge, look, we had a big star come to this town, Charleston White. Right. Shout out to Charleston White. Yeah. Shout out to real street stars, man. Yeah. Show love. But have you on that, nah. like, what made Charleston White come down here and like Fridge and kind of put, trying to put you in position? Man, he had came down. I ain't, had, uh, I ain't had no plans to meet him or nothing, man. He was already down here. And my guy, uh, Lil Melvin, and them had brought him down here. You feel what I'm saying? Mel, for a yeah. comedy show. And um, he said, look, man, we're going to go down to the club and meet Charleston. This is a little after show, you know what I mean, after party. It ain't his after party, but he was going to an after party. Of a name that I ain't gonna say who party it was or nothing, yeah. but you know, we went out there and I missed him that night. Uh -huh. So, you know what I mean? I'm like, okay, cool. I mean, I catch up with him another day. So the next morning, Lil Melvin hit me back up. He's like, hey, bro, we about to have him at uh, Meridian Street Cafe. Shout out to Meridian Street Cafe. Yeah. So We um, supporting all our local. We came down there, man, you know what I mean? And, and he, he was eating and stuff, man. So I was already there, man. They introduced us to each other. So, you know, I just threw my shout out there, bro. You feel what I'm saying? I showed him what I had going on because I'm a, I'm somebody that believed documentation be conversation. Ooh. So, you know. You got to show me. I showed him what I had going on. Yeah. And he was looking at it, bro. He was like reading it like, damn, bro. You know what I mean? Ain't a story like this in this country, bro. Like you, like hitting all areas, whether it was sports, jail, or uh, 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 school, Prison, it was it was all kind of stuff. You feel what I'm saying? Your, let me ask you a question though. So for Fridge, what about the backlash from the Charleston White? Like, oh, Fridge up under Charleston yeah, White yeah, Hill. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? What how how does Fridge handle the backlash? Because one thing we know about Fridge, yeah. Fridge go live on you. Yeah, off the top. You and, know what I'm saying? But you know, I always been a nigga that I stand on what I believe in. Okay. Yeah, before I judge somebody, I'm gonna meet them. So I wasn't worried about what people was going to say because I know I stand 10 toes on whatever I do. Yeah. 
So it was like the thing that they was talking about, like well, how his delivery is or him being the police or this, that, another. Look here, bro. That man playing a character online, whether he did it, whether he do it or not. We know dude in there, we know a dude in every single neighborhood in this city that done did some snitching and y'all still accept him. So why I'm gonna go all the way to Dallas, Texas and worry about what dude got going on? Yeah, yeah. When, when, when ain't nobody presented nothing, ain't nobody said nothing. I mean, if we're going by deliveries, I mean, okay, you know what I mean? That's sensitive, but I'm not trying to be in the, I'm not trying to come in the game and rap. I'm not trying to come in. Yeah. I done already done all like, the, yeah. the street shit, the prison shit, so I ain't got nothing to prove to those who felt a certain way about what I was doing. Right. Charlton White do a lot of talking to kids. He do a lot of work in the community. That's the kind of thing I was trying to do. You know, that's the thing I'm there trying to do. You feel what I'm saying? So, you know, I was like in a different lane. I wasn't afraid to tell people that. But it take a real nigga to step up and be like, look, I'm fucking with him. Yeah. This is what, look, Fred, I'm telling you this 100. This is what I like about you. You understand the capital of don't worry about what the next nigga say. Yeah, most definitely, bro. You know what I'm saying? Most because definitely. I'm telling you, man, these niggas are trying to kill your dream. You know what I'm oh, saying? They will, bro. They will. And so, but I'm just saying, but with Fridge being being who you are, trying to step in another lane, like just with old friends and old guys, like how you kind of dwindling around that, just trying to still be Fridge, but, right. but do the right thing. I had to become fed up, bro. You feel what I'm saying? I was somebody that wasn't no reckless ass dude out here, bro. Yeah. So, you know, I wasn't no rob, I wasn't no shooter, I wasn't none of that. I was just somebody that stood in what I believe in. So it makes it kind of easy to remove around everything going on because I'm still standing on what I believe in. Yeah. So, you know, when um But when, when I'm, I'm but, but I'm saying like when the goons are saying, F fridge, like oh, this yeah. is that because you gonna have all that. But I'm saying, but how you handling that, not being able to go back to the old way of thinking. You know what I'm saying? Just learning how to perform under pressure. When I say perform under pressure, man, like when I was in prison, bro, you know, things go on that you might not like, but it's for the betterment of the, the squad. It's every action is a reaction. So, you know, I can't just react just because somebody don't feel the way I feel. I had conversations with people about certain things. And at the end of the conversation, they felt where I was coming from. I ain't look, it's okay for us to agree to disagree. Most definitely. Yeah. You know I mean, I ain't in the same lane as everybody else anyway. So, you know, if you don't feel what I'm doing, that's, that's straight. Right. But you ain't gonna find no flaw in me though. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. And so think about it. Coming from uh, I just wanna tell my people, because we all got different people like um when you when you was coming up, you was football. Like you got all the major football players yeah. now that's messing with you, you know what I'm saying? And when you in the mix of of doing something right, what kind of makes you like just kind of veer off a little bit, as you would say? What made you veer off? Oh, because of the situation that I was in. Like, like that's what I was popular for, bro. Football. Oh, Everybody that, knew yeah, me yeah, for football. That up, yeah. Now the street and gang stuff came later, but mm -hmm. what made me veer off is like I wasn't nobody that went and chilled in the projects. I actually lived in the motherfuckers twenty two years before I went to prison. So. What happens in them projects dictate how I live. Mm -hmm. So other people can claim some or do whatever they do, but it's different when your little nieces and nephews playing in the yard, yeah. when your mom and dad is sitting on the porch. So I'm going to enforce the rules to make sure they safe. So what happened when I kind of took my turn was the gangs hit the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Niggas got out of prison. What's Fridge a bully? I, I yeah. heard that. Well, you know, they, Back then? they they gonna always say I'm a bully because okay. of my size and, and the yeah. way. Now, I was That's, never a bully. Anybody okay. know me? No, I ain't. Nah, I, ain't, okay. I don't even like bullies. Yeah, but I was an enforcer for what I believe in. Yeah. So I mean, it's a fine line between being a bully and just standing on the people you okay. standing with the people you fuck with. Yeah, and so Fred, this is what I want you to tell people. I want to start off with this. I got a lot I want to talk to you about, but even with the how important is it to be in that law library? Yeah, very important. You feel what I'm saying? When I when I, see when everybody get their time, bro, whether it's in trial or you take a plea, the first thing the lawyer tell you is, bro, you can appeal it. Yeah. How many niggas we don't seen come home on appeal? Not many. It ain't many. They mean. So you know, it was tasked with, like I said, like we talked about, I don't smoke, I don't drink. So when the homeboys and all my partners in the cell smoking and drinking, doing what they do, gambling, bro, I used to get up out that cell and go to that law library. That's my only way out. Some days I didn't want to do the shit, but I done it because of who I had outside on the outside. Mm. And I knew some of them used to laugh, man. Fridge yeah. ain't gonna get that Fridge, time yeah, over time. You, you know, we all tripping. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, it's very important though. That's your freedom, bro. You feel but what I'm saying? Do you think kind of you being in school and playing football when you got to prison, like, okay, 
take me back uh, to the day you just landed in prison. Because, you know, I know how when you go through just going to court and stuff, it's just like I'm going to court. I'm having the faith that I'm going home. I might be trusting in God a little more than them. So take me back to that first day when you just landed in prison and you, you knew you was there. Well, when I went to prison, we you know we had Charles Bass, yes. so I was still in the Ville. Yeah, yeah. So it was just like it was a new experience to me, man. I ain't go that far on the bus, but I got dropped off at Charles Bass. That was the first time I just really was around niggas from different cities uh -huh. and all that. So you know, and I had I had some business I got to take care of now because when you got a name like that and you never went to prison, but everybody so called respect you for where you from. It's people in prison waiting on you to get there to make sure yeah. you really what you say you what are. What you say you yeah. are. You feel what I'm saying? So I but do friends, that in the back of my was in the gang before you went to prison or when you got there? I, I was out, and I say organization oh, because organization. They, yeah, nah. niggas be so technical when they be listening to these podcasts. Yeah. They'll find anything wrong. So yeah, we going so now the organization is, is now mentioned as gang. So okay. I'm just going to ask oh, nah, I, yeah, Organization, so, I, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I was already, I was okay. already the folks, you feel what I'm saying? And I'd already held it down yeah. as the folks, you see yeah. what I'm saying? So yeah, so it was already out there. It wasn't so no proud secrets. of getting to prison, now I know you there. So how you handling the pressure of the fridge that's going to the law library and trying to change and still got a hold up to, you know what I'm saying, what you are? I just, I just moved in a fashion, like I said, bro. Like when I was on the streets, I wasn't ever reckless. So I wasn't nobody in there just looking for trouble. So I, I did, like I worked out, I did what I did, go to the law library, and I also was with my own kind. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? So I knew that it was a chance something can pop off with my own kind. That's what I signed up for. Well, yeah, right. But right. If, we, if it ain't popping off, it ain't nothing going on, I'm going to the law library. Okay. You know what I mean? I'm chilling with my guys, whatever I got to do. And so how did you, like, what's the process of, you uh, you got, you, you got like a what, 17 year sentence or something? 17, yeah. 17 year sentence, like, and so what's the process of Fred saying, man, I'm going to go home. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Even, yeah. even wanting to start to go in law library because, like you said, that's also hard to do concerning. I know people looking at you like, man, that ain't going to happen. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, most definitely. Man. You got to realize, bro, I got turned down at every level. Right? There was appeal court, Supreme Court, federal courts. Man, every level for 10 years straight. Mm. So to keep going to the law library, that Very, was crucial. You that's what me? I'm saying. So, yeah, I mean, my push was like my mama, bro. Like, I'm a real mama's boy. My dad had passed away, unfortunately, okay. during that time. So every time I didn't want to go, if I didn't want to study nothing, look here, man, I got to do it for her. Thanks. You see what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. So that was my motivation, man, to get back out there. And, you know, I, I took it personal, bro. Like, the way the folks done me, like, they had to see me again. You feel mm, me? Yeah. So that's what kind of mind frame and time I was on. And then, but coming from the streets, like, you know, we all got a story. I had a gal when I came here. I had some homeboys yeah. when I came here. Who stuck around for fridge and looked out on some real talk? Why you was down? Man, a lot of my guys. You okay. know what I mean? Like, 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 when I say a lot of them, I'm saying more than five, six of them. I mean, they, they, stood, yeah. they stood strong. I kind of like got the reality of the females and the, uh, so-called gang members or organization members out, man, look here, bro. Yeah. Some humble power when he's dealing with that. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. So you go from a guy that's used to having women on the streets and this, that, and other. I'm coming in thinking like, look, bro, I know they're going to ride with me. Yeah. Right. But then I found out quick, you know what I mean? You just another nigga sitting on the bunk, especially when you got a lot of time like that. You feel what I'm saying? So I adjusted real quick. And, you know, for the guys, you know what I mean? Because what made it kind of like real – real situation with me when it came to what I was a part of being the folks it was like if I would have told them something about GD bro I could have went home mm. so that was that's what people don't realize like wow. in the depth of my case it was more like yeah you sold somebody some XP or whatever but you tell us something about GD I could have went home I, they would have indicted the folks before they indicted the bloods wow. yeah so you remember the bloods got indicted a little bit after me yeah. after I left the cared. but but that's yeah, but not yeah. to say no name, but yeah. it's already but, in the record books, yeah. Yeah, so that, that lets you know, like, the importance is, like, if the first person don't fold, everybody else got a chance. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But what made Fridge not fold when somebody folded on Fridge? Like, oh, but, and, and yeah. I, I want to go back to, like, okay, even with, with you being a victim of being told on, right. you know what I'm saying, how do you forgive the guy or have you forgiven the guy or what, what, what does that look like now with you being the change Fridge? Right. So, you know, when I, uh, my confidential informant, man, dude, wore a wire on me in the middle of the projects. <clears throat> and, 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 you know, you, you can go in detail and see it. It was kind of like, damn, man, because we weren't used to things like that happening. 
So not back, not back then. <laughs> when it first happened, I was so focused on getting out of the situation, uh-huh. and I knew like it had already been said. Like if anything happened to him, we come to pick you up well, because yeah. Ooh, he yeah. let them know who I was and what I was a part of. Yeah. So I had to really block that out of my mind and take care of the business of going home. Now, for as me doing the same thing he did, I'm I'm, I'm built off man. Guess what, bro? Accountability. I was tripping even fucking with the nigga. If you see him right now, what 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 does it look like? If you just happen to, I don't know if you have saw him, but if you just happen to kind of, I, I ain't seen him, bro. You feel what I'm saying? And I, I was asked that question a lot of times. What would I do, bro? It's kind of like what would he do? Yeah, because I'm alright with what happened, bro. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Up, it's it, yeah. it's kind of hard for people to really realize it, but like when you go through that shit. And you really kind of like get to the point of taking accountability. It's kind of like, man, long as dude stay out my way, I stay out his way. Facts. But I damn sure ain't finna dodge no nigga that told it on me. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? So yeah. it's however the pressure comes. Yeah. And, 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 and I know you apply. ain't even on that. You yeah, know what I mean? But I'm just, apply, yeah. you know what I mean? It's kind of like, it, it, it's hard to kind of forgive that. You know what I mean? Yeah. And and it's, 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 it's a growing pain, but man, it's like that. That's over, Bro, man. Yeah. It is what it is. Yeah. Um, and I hate to ask you this because it's, it's a sad question what I'm gonna ask you, but I hate to ask you this. Um, what was the ups about being in prison? The ups about being in prison was like it t- gave me time to really look at life in all kinds. Of, it, it was a like a, a real life chess match, bro. Mm-hmm. So you know, not crashing out, learning from what you did, how to man, like every question I had about myself, I learned it in prison. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So like you got to be able to perform under pressure. What I'm saying, like perform under pressure, I ain't saying fight or stab. Yeah, I'm man. saying like, can you operate in chaos? Yeah, most yeah. niggas can't operate in chaos, Ooh, and it, I learned that. Facts. Yeah, and, and it taught me like the real nigga shit that people think is real. Like how real is it? Like most of the niggas in prison, you know, they always known for being OGs and big niggas that's gonna go, but. Niggas can run a whole compound, but can't run a household. Mm. So, you know, I look at shit different. Like, man, look, I'm not supposed to be here, but while I'm here, I'm going to master everything mm. I got going on right here. Because I know if I can perform it now, I can perform on the streets. Mm. And that been kind of like the thing that told it me, like, niggas, you performed under real pressure before. How did you know you was getting close to that whatever you did law-wise to coming home? See, I knew something was wrong with it. It's just about when was they going to accept what was going mm. on. Okay. So it's like I'm saying the same thing at every level of court, but it's like, oh, that's a clerical error, that's a technical error. There ain't nothing to overturn your case from. Yeah. But I'm keep pushing because I'm like, niggas been selling dope in the edge here for long as I was born. Yeah. Before yeah. I was born. How does a drug free school zone affect me, but it didn't affect every nigga before me? Ooh. It been in place since nineteen ninety five. So what they done was in the school library since 1995. Wow. So how does it but the, transform? Go, go, but go so, ahead. so the law was written for people that was going up on school grounds and serving kids and serving while the kids right there. Wow. So how they manipulate the law was they use it when they want to. So just as so I did my transaction at 10 o'clock at night, how mm-hmm. did that endanger the kids? And the school ain't even school in. ain't even in. Yeah. So my thing was like, something ain't right about this because if it's a law, they going to they gonna push it every time. It ain't nothing they should be able to use when they want to use. Yeah. So I'm like, man, something got to be wrong. But at the same time, I got other issues on my case that I'm fighting. I didn't get out on the drug-free school zone. Mm. I just kept it real to go back and get the people that was on the drug-free school zone. So. I got out on ineffective counsel because mm-hmm. my lawyer didn't ask for a lesser included offense. So I got sale and delivery, but she never asked for facilitation. She never asked for casual exchange, things like that. Uh, yeah. My lawyer didn't do her job. And so, but how did you end up getting that high percentage? Did you go to trial or what? Well, well I went to trial. Y'all yeah, went to trial twice. I got a hung jury mm. the first time, and then I got a, a foul guilty the second time. But this where the gang shit come in again. DA could have gave me a deal like, okay, we're going to get a plea. Because it was what, your first time? First time. Oh, come on. Man. But yeah. the detective had already been in her ear. This dude is over the gangster disciples. So all the deals was off the table. She thought that was funny. We ain't giving no game of no, 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 no deal. So it's either he's going to take this 1500 or we're going to go to trial. Now, when when they talk about going to trial, they talking about giving me way more than 15, 17, and 100. Mm. But sentencing guidelines come in. So. A normal person get caught with what I got caught with, that's 8 to 12. You can get probation. Wow. But when they got the school zone, it enhance your stuff and take you up a class. So now I'm 15 to 25. Mm. So if I lose, I'm doing 15 years. So 
I batted them up. You feel me? Ooh, but what made this? Is what I'm saying, Fridge. What made you say I'm batting y'all up and taking y'all to trial? Was it the? Is it the? Is it the? The the huh, free Fridge like the? Nah, I, you know what I'm saying? Because you, you you ran over people yo, being a running back, yo. so you used to running over people. So do you think it was the? Huh. What made me take them to trial, bro? Wasn't the? Huh? It was the. Bro, they ain't giving me no play anyway. Now, if I had an off on the table, like an 8 and 30, 10 and 30, I would have took low and go. Yeah, yeah. But they standing on business talking about, nigga, if, y'all don't, if you don't tell us nothing about GD, nigga, you're going to go to trial for something else. Yeah. Bro, we got to go to trial. <laughs> we you, we yeah, booting it we up. We got to go to trial. Because so, I'm not saying I didn't serve the dude. Y'all got it on wide taps and visual. I'm saying show me some love and give me a plea deal like everybody else. I'm guilty. Don't try they, to bust me up. But you they want to make it out out of me. Okay, so now look. Fridge gets back to time. He's coming home. He's getting out of prison. You leave. You leaving everybody behind. Now, what are you doing for your old prison people? Who you you kind of? Uh, first of all, did you get? They always say, "Oh, you got to fight when you go to prison. You got to do this." Yeah. What you have to do in prison just to kind of solidify that you wasn't going because everybody, you know, what I mean, it my, anything. My fights didn't even happen till I got down Northwest. Ooh. Thunderdome. So, Thunderdome. So it kind of, um, it was kind of like, I can't never say it was a Nashville, Memphis thing. Ooh, but it kind of was. It but, be, it be like a, but a lot of times, okay. it's some monk ass niggas from Nashville and it's some monk ass niggas Ooh, from Memphis. Most definitely. See, this is the problem people don't, uh, don't address. When niggas go down to that penitentiary, don't no nigga from Memphis know nothing about Fridge or Ricky unless a nigga from Nashville tell them. Wow. So it'd be the cross out shit with it. Cause if you come and you getting paper on the streets or you a gang member, it gotta be a nigga from your city telling them other niggas who you are. And I'm sorry, we gotta go there. This, let, let's yeah. just let, yeah. let, 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 let's just stick right there. Right. Why is the niggas in Nashville so in competition with the niggas in Nashville in your own site? Because Fridge, it's more than more than more. I mean, any lane we in down here, everybody just like always on some. You know, we be trying to bring together, even with like say friends, friends. I might be cool with you, and you might have some have some guys with you, and one of your guys might not be cool with me for no reason. And you know, I'm solid. Like, how do you beat through the like the who's solid and who not? You I know got, what I mean? I got situations like that right now. Like with, look, man, if you didn't fuck with people that. Somebody else don't fuck with you. Ain't gonna be able to mess with nobody. Yeah, because <laughs> everybody don't like this Every- person or that person. So what I do is, man, people be like, man, if you play both sides, nigga, I don't play both sides. But I ain't finna make everybody a problem. My problem, nigga, man. Cause guess what? When I had problems, nigga, I wouldn't try to make no nigga stop liking this nigga or that nigga. That's nigga's problem. If you don't like a nigga, take care of your business. Woo. And that's what I learned. Like when I went down that road, that I learned. That's why I stood on. Like nigga, they had niggas down there to tell you. If you just a nigga that ain't going to speak up for yourself or stand up, nigga, I don't want to see you. Nigga, you GD, I don't want to see you hang with none of them Crips from Nashville. You can't no nigga tell me that. Man. You got to hit me in my mouth right there. <laughs> and everybody ain't willing to go you through that dead, because facts. they might not be built for that. Yeah. But you ain't finna pick and choose who I fuck with. Yeah, yeah. Because my situation had nothing to do with your situation with this nigga. You feel me? Yeah. But that's like niggas be so sensitive, bro. Yeah, they are. When they see you talking to a nigga, that's female shit to me. Man, that's... Because if I got that much of a problem with a nigga and you constantly around him, I'm going to take care of my business anyway. Man. But when a person just want to talk about something and do this, they'll hold you accountable for shit they don't take care of. But this is what I'm saying. Even, you know, even at the at the growth stage where we are, yep. if I'm messing with Fridge yep. and I and I got a problem with somebody that Fridge mess with, right. I mean, I'm a little boy if I don't say, hey, Fridge, man, we had a little problem, man. Let's yep. get everybody get together, you know what I'm right. saying, and, 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 and get that done like – don't you think that's like a growth like we got to kind of get to? You know what I'm saying? I believe it's levels to it, though, bro. Right. You know, once blood shed and stuff, you know, people going to feel a certain type of way. Most and definitely. I'm okay with that. Yeah. So, you know, like, even though I might not take it to the level that they'll take it to where my people got killed by such and such, such and such. Okay, bro. You know what I mean, that's on y'all, bro. You see what I'm saying? That's on whatever y'all got going on. And I respect you not fucking with me behind that. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. you're going to respect that I ain't going to put myself in a position because this 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 what made me stop doing things like that, bro. I've never got to beefing or or into it with a nigga because I got into it with him. 
I was always taking care, taking up for a nigga from out south, yeah. taking up for a GD nigga. So every problem I had, I was always a beloved individual. Yeah, yeah. So if I got a problem with a nigga, it's probably because of another nigga that I took on the beef. Mm -hmm. So ain't nothing like taking on the beef and a nigga that was in the beef ain't even involved no more. He go where he want to go. Yeah, right. But you took up for him and you yeah, can't go certain you places one. you want to go. Yeah. I ain't finna change my life for no nigga no more. Man, this what I look. I'm talking about look. I'm gonna tell you something. This on this, this on some, this on some real Cashville shit. Right. Uh, I didn't even know who you was, and then everybody was just talking about fridge, fridge, and I'm just kind of watching, watching. But when you did this, I was like, I'm messing with him. You was doing a big old thing for the kids. I don't even think it was the um the um bunny. I only think it was the um the bunny rabbit thing. You know where they uh the, the Easter egg hunt. I don't think it was Easter egg hunt. But then you said, you said, man, I'm talking to everybody out south, man. If y'all ain't coming and deposit something, coming and putting something to this, man, I ain't messing with you. You know what I'm saying? Right. And are we having to like teach our people unity like that? But they, it, it's it's working. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. are you holding? I like how you hold your south side people accountable to doing something, add to the community. You know what I'm saying? Where does that come? You know what I mean? I mean because I look at it like this, bro. You know. Y'all in good position out there. Mm -hmm. How's the neighborhood not in good position? So if you do got a couple hundred grand. Man, what, what, how hard is it for you to buy a backpack, nigga? Because guess what? What happens is when you get that disconnect from them age limits, that, that's why you got kids in the hood now when they grown, them older niggas scared to go out there and hang out there because they treated the niggas like shit when they was coming up. Mm. So it's a disconnect. If you take care of the hood, the hood going to take care of you. I ain't never worried about none of them young niggas doing nothing to me outside because I show them love and I'm going to give them aid and assistance and righteousness. But when you looking at it like I don't fuck, how do you know fuck with this? But this is what you stand at every day. Yeah. It's what you stand at every, every day. day. You claim it. Yeah. And so I always definitely. look at it. If you want to see how good the niggas is in that community, look how the community look. Now, I ain't saying they got to build new houses. Not, I'm saying like, bro, look, kids, shoes fucked up. Uh, yeah. You hitting their mama. You hitting AIT, you know, so they ought to be straight on every level. So when I to hold my guys accountable, I'm like, look, we the same niggas that tore down this community. Mm, let's build it up. So what I'm saying is put back into it, my nigga. You feel what I'm saying? Or when, when them young niggas turn you upside down out there, then you're going to wonder what went wrong. Bro, they don't know you. You don't even talk to them. What made Fridge want to want to want to step up and do that and boss up? Or has Fridge always been a boss? You know what I'm saying? Like everybody, you know what I mean? I, I, I was a boss way for social media. So the mm. love that I got outside right now, I've been having it. It's just now the city can look at me a certain way. But like I'm somebody that was on the lease, man. But if you look at these neighborhoods, most niggas that hang out didn't really live in the projects. Mm. So they really don't understand the struggle when they get on. I live the edge here too. That was, you know what I mean? Yeah, I live, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm so, saying? So, I, know, I live the edge here. <laughs> yeah, and, and I ain't but, yeah. down to nobody that didn't live in the okay. projects. I'm like, well, if, you, get if you standing on them blocks, homie, you got to have something in your heart that them kids walking around without shit they need. Mm -hmm. Because I look at it like when I do backpack giveaways and shit like that, that's one kid that they ain't going to joke on in school. Facts. And they be like, I, I I had words with a dude one time. We were just talking just because we partners. He like, bro, why you don't get your backpacks off Amazon or this, that? That's cool. But if I can go get them Nike backpacks and this, that, no, I'm going to get the yeah. kids what they want. Yeah. You see what I'm you saying? You getting the kids really yeah. what you would have wanted. You know what I mean? Ain't nothing yeah. in my stuff that I ain't going to put on. Mm hmm and it might be a little bit more expensive, and it might be this and that, but guess what? Man, they, they get joked on in school, bro. You telling me our kids in the community get joked on from Edge Hill, but our dudes that's older, Edge Hill balling. Mm. What they do that at? Man, that's... Hey. So yeah, I hold them niggas accountable. Then a lot, of, a lot of niggas, not only from Edge Hill, a lot of niggas around the city, I get them favors too. Yeah. Because when they hit them compounds and they calling me because the prison respect me, they, oh, I'm making definitely. sure they good. Hey, yeah. bro, that's my nigga. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, it's favors. You feel what I'm saying? Right. I ain't going to lie, it's favors. But I'm like, I ain't asking you for no money, bro. I put the word in there for you and make sure you live good for three, four years. Just help these kids. Why do you think niggas respect you? Why, why just just on some real? Why do you think they respect fridge? Because I never take advantage of the power that I got. Hmm. So I feel Ooh. like I feel like that. That's a hell of a dude when you don't take advantage of the power. Because I got the power because I do treat people with respect. Most See, it ain't too many people out there gonna be like, man, fridge ever disrespected me. But I have demonstrated too. Yeah. So when it, when it, when it's times when. We was up against other neighborhoods back in the day. I'm always front line. Yeah, facts. So yeah, you know I mean, it's it's a difference when I walk in there and they know that. And that's just being that that's just being right. humble. That yeah, ain't trying yeah, to, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? That's yeah, just, yeah, you know what I mean? That's sure. just who Fridge is, you know what I mean? And, and that goes back like 
to what we talked about with Charleston, bro. That's why I wouldn't worry about what people saying because the lifestyle that dudes are living now, mm -hmm. I ace that lifestyle. Yeah. See, when you bring up certain organization and gangs, these dudes' names don't come up because it's like it's first team, all this. These niggas might be honorable mention, but I was first team with this shit. Even with even go we go back to Charleston White. Yeah. Even with Charleston White, I totally understand every 90% of the stuff he's doing is right. Of course, you're not gonna never agree with everything yeah, somebody yeah, would do. It. Right. It's, it's gonna be that. Right. It's gonna be that ten percent. But do you think Charleston White kind of looked up to you because you're doing the stuff? Actually, what he's doing, just not on that bigger platform. Yeah, I think it was a new, uh, mutual respect, right. bro. Yeah. So when you, I mean, we like, man, we talk on the phone like, man, I respect what he got going on. Because right. I go deeper than what a person just saying on the internet, this, mm -hmm. that, another. Because I've been that guy, even though like. I can get on Instagram right now and talk some gangster shit. Oh, yeah, most definitely. And I can get hundreds of th hundreds of views. You yeah. feel what I'm saying? Thousands of views. But guess what? If I talk about my organization, I'm knowing that people ain't going to tap in like that because mm. negative shit go positive. So I'm knowing what Charles can go through. Dude, you know what yeah. I mean? When he first started, it's like, look, man, I'm talking about these people in the community, legislature. Ain't nobody trying to hear that. Yeah. But when he got to talking that shit, he seen the numbers rise. Listening. So I'm, 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 I'm smart enough to put the bullshit to the side and focus on what need to be focused on. I changed the law in Nashville. You feel mm. me? In Tennessee, guess what Charles and White do down in Texas? Fight for life sentences and things like that. So yeah. well, I was connected to him in a bigger picture than what everybody else was connected with. You feel me? And then for Fridge, look, uh, everybody know, Fridge, you also got a real funny part about, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a silly saying, nigga, bro. You a, are, I, I know you are yeah. A, a, a silly nigga, you know what I'm saying? But like, how do you how do you know when to kind of be like that? Other than like, it's kind of getting serious because right. because now like the level you on is like you can be silly, but you can't. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. You don't want nobody to take that as a right. weak spot. You know what I'm saying? That's why I try to stay in a lane that like I can just be myself, so, bro. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Because regardless of like, it's just like with the streets right now. People ask me a lot, man, why don't you got that trying to stop them young niggas from doing Man, guess what? I will try to talk to them, but you got to demonstrate in order to get what you want done. You see what I'm saying? So yeah. sometimes you got to kill to get your point across. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? If I'm not willing to kill, get out the way. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Because once you put your word out there and niggas don't respect your word, what you got to do next? <laughs> you got to perform. So I try to stay in that lane of like, okay, I deal with kids, bro. Mm -hmm. Because... I deal with kids because I can raise them to be what they need to be. I'm not trying to catch no dude that's already grown and run, raise grown men. I'm not. I'm not into that. You feel what I'm saying? Who is free, uh, free is speaking back to? If somebody's getting on the internet calling Fridge out, is is he got to be a person on a certain level to speak back to him, or are you? If somebody like lashing out at you, is Fridge going? You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, well, I ain't really had that happen too much. Okay, but. If I feel like it's, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go for who who's supposed to be the gorilla. Yeah. That's how I operate. I'm not gonna respond to everybody, right. but if yeah, yeah, yeah. if you get traction off what you done said to me, right. and you feel like you question somebody I've done as a man, I'm coming to you. Yeah. yeah. After that, we can get on the and phone. Not like, I ain't saying I don't know beef stuff, yeah, but just yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. like I'm yeah. a fridge, regardless of how you feel, if you in the boss position like yeah. you are in, and right. that ain't putting you all up yeah. high, but it's the truth. Like you gonna face some. Yeah, you're going to face it a lot. And, then, you know, like, I don't respond to everything. I hear little things, but oh, I don't yeah. respond to everything. But if I feel like, okay, somebody getting some traction on something, they feel like they calling me out on, I know if I take care of this situation, that's going to knock a whole, knock lot, a of whole lot of people yeah, down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because cause, cause I'm like this, bro. You know, I show respect, but I'm a movement with some teeth in it. Now, people can say, man, fridge is not change. I'm still the same fridge. Yeah. So if it come down to the point where I feel like, I'm in a situation where I got to defend myself. So, I ain't fucked up with yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> Don't let them backpacks fool you, bro. Yeah. Like, I stand for something to the point, like, because I always try to be in the right, bro, and righteous. So when it do hit another level as a man, I ain't never got no regrets. Mm. And God done, man, God done shielded me because of that. It was times when we get into it with oppositions or something go down. Guess what I do before I do? I'm praying. Mm. And let me let me make it out this situation because I ain't no nigga that, I ain't Rambo. You feel what I'm saying? But yeah. I'm like, if I'm there, I'm there for a reason. You feel what I'm saying? And, and that done led me right, bro. Let me let me go. I want to go back to uh this point because I, I want to ask you this because you in the position, you you made change and, and changes keep coming. And I know every year is something different I'm seeing you're doing, especially when it comes to the politics and the 
in the juvenile systems in the system. Okay, now that Glenn Funk, Glenn Funk was one of the guys that was fighting for these conspiracy cases, right. these school zones. School zones, most definitely. And uh, I guess Zimmerman was in there. Zimmerman, Zimmerman and left. He went to I know he went to Murfreesboro. And then Glenn came in. Yes. Zimmerman them really pushed the school zones. They, yeah, they, 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 they a group of DAs. They pushed yeah. the school zones. Right. And I know Zim, Glenn Funk, I've heard he was like, well, yeah, I'm changing that. But now, as Fridge being in that realm with those guys, those, the, uh, the Glenn Funks, are those guys talking about anything about going back on some of these cases because they know they was mistreated? Well, they got a uh, conviction review board they set up. Okay. Where they can review these cases that people was mistreated and it's going on. And you got to put in an application to be on it. But that was things that we never did have okay. before people like Glenn got in play. So, you know, Glenn them doing their job. Of course, like I tell people, bro, if you, if you shoot somebody in the head in broad daylight, bro, you're going to jail, bro. It don't matter who the DA is. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You just so I did think that. people yeah. need to get out of the favors phase of this shit uh-huh. and get out of the, get the equality of it. Yeah. So we just want to get treated equal. And we know that certain shit don't require a certain amount of time. And the old DAs abuse that, bro. That's how you get them fridges with 15s at 100. Yeah. Or this person with the... Bro, they, got, they had some dudes, and I, I'm going to tell this real quick. They had some dudes coming down out of Jackson, right? Mm-hmm. And it's, it's it's on Westlaw, so I ain't saying nothing. They was coming down supposedly to buy some work. They got pulled over in Jackson, right? They had like 20000 on them. Maybe. Let's say 20000 Jackson police let them go. Alerted every county they passed through that they was going through not to stop them. Them folks came all the way down here to off sweats over there by Pearl Cone. Bought some work. They buy some work. They get back on the interstate over there by sweats and get pulled over by Nashville Police Department. Charged them with a school zone. They measure for the school zone. One dude got 25 years. One dude got 40 years. One dude got 60 years at 100%. But how are they doing that when they, they could have stopped them? They could have stopped it before okay. it even happened. Is, is that against the law, entrapment? You can't get, I, I got found not guilty of entrapment before. So what happens is, them dudes go to prison for all that time, bro. So them the kind of stories that these police departments are doing around the, the state. But guess what? I talked to my guy that got 25 years, he out now because of the law I pushed. Ooh. So I took it personal because they taking it personal with us. Yeah. So I can take it personal with all this shit that we was doing dumb shit back in the day with South and East and all that shit. Why come I can't take it personal when it's going to help everybody? Do do you think you get uh, enough praise? And not that you want the praise, but do you think you get enough from what you done done? Because um, now I, hold up, Fridge. Now I get what Charleston White looking at. Like for, 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 for a black man that done been through what you done been through to change the law, like that's really unheard of, right? If you think of it, so what do you think you deserve, or do you get the good praise, or do people like you know embrace you one like thing, you think? One thing about my city, man, they do show me love, bro. I can't say and say they don't. Like I tell people, man, I feel like Nashville stood up for me, like Philly stood up for me. I say that all the time. Yeah, yeah. But I feel like what I'm doing is a lot of people can't just really. See how important it is because it's never been done, and they and they never been in the situation. Yeah, it's never been done. But I think what's gonna happen is I will blow up to a point that Nashville look at like, damn, man, we missed one. Now it was always right there. You see what I'm saying? It was always right there. But I just feel like certain people is put in certain positions because man, God just got that blessing on you, bro. I ain't never think I was gonna change no law or nothing like that. Like wow, you know what I'm saying like, like, hey, like so you know that's is it that's. Was big unheard of I'm but just it, from where we from but like it go back to what you asked me like bro what did prison do for you bro if I don't go do them 10 and a half bro this law don't get changed for them 300 families you feel me so are you cool with that sacrifice yeah I'm cool with that sacrifice okay. it's done look, so look. I gotta make something out of it you feel what I'm saying okay Fritz and uh, look I'm gonna tell you uh, when I see you at your happiest um I done seen you in clubs well I done seen you since H one time it was cool. I done seen you places, but you are so happy with your family. Oh, man. No, for real. You know what I'm saying? Like, you are man, and you are so happy with your family. Yeah. And how does that impact Fridge to keep getting better? Is that your nephew? The, uh, the, the little son you Yeah, get? my nephew. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's hey, my boy. It's well, they, it's, uh, we would think that's your son. Yeah, like, you're my son. Your yeah. nephew, like, what's that like connection? Like, you know what I mean? So, so the story about him, everybody being on my social media, know my <laughs> okay. nephew, man. And uh, 
Uh, my sister, man, she don't mind me talking about it. They said that she couldn't have kids. Okay. So I'm in prison at this time. You know, my dad had passed. He only got one grandchild. And all of a sudden, man, my sister get pregnant. So we like, damn, she going to be able to carry the baby or not? Yeah, so fast forward, she have the Brayden. <laughs> yeah. So Brayden born like- Shout out to Brayden. Yeah, He's yeah. bad, so, but shout out to Brayden. So he born like 2018, bro. Uh-huh. I get out the same year. So Brayden used to come to the prison and see me in visitation. Wow. So we we watched him when he first started walking there. So everybody in prison knew little Brayden because he was like the little visitation baby. Mm -hmm. Everybody played with all my partners from different cities and stuff. So when I got out, his dad ain't around, so I became his father. You mm. feel what I'm saying? And I love him to death, man. Like my little best friend, I just watched him grow and this, that, and other. We beef a lot, like you know. <laughs> so you know, you I, know love, what I, mean? I love watching it. You know what I mean? It's just, it's just, it's just family, bro. You know, my, I, I'm somebody that grew up in the projects, bro. But I grew up with both pairs. But why you? Uh, and I've heard you talk about this one time. Why you feel like that you wasn't gonna never have a family and kids? Oh, and because stuff? it, it kind of scared me, bro. Because when I was in prison, bro, I was like, damn, man. What if I don't make it out of here? You know what I mean? I was 22 years old when I went in. I got out at 32. So my dad had passed away. My dad was a hell of a dude, bro. So, you know, I'm like, damn, if I die in here and not make it out, nothing is left here with my daddy, mm -hmm. male-wise. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? So, man, I was like, man, if I ever get out of here, bro, I'm going to make some kids, bro, because it ain't promised. Man, yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? I could have lost my life in them 10 years and nothing in the fridge will be here no more. You man, feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So when I got out, bro, man, I had three quick ones, bro. I was three. Just, <laughs> three. Back to back. Three quick Something was ones. in that penitentiary Kool-Aid, man. I don't know what it was. Yeah. And though, so how do they treat fridge when fridge come home? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Especially, but just look, Fridge, let me ask you a question. I want to ask you a serious question, like, with you being, because I call you an activist, I call you a street nigga, I call Fridge, yeah. you know what I'm saying, like Fridge yeah. is kind of like, that's why I enjoy your platforms, like, we we want you to go live a little more, but yeah. you don't, you yeah. know what I'm saying, like, anytime Fridge go live, he, we already know he got some real stuff, but how does the family treat Fridge when Fridge got to come home and ain't no telling what type of mood, because a guy like you, you never know how your day went. And, and speaking of how my day went, bro, I work at a juvenile full time. So when I'm dealing with them different personalities with these teenagers and things like that, then when I do come in the house, I got to cut it off and leave everything at the door. Yeah, that's what So I'm when they run to me, bro, I got to play like his eye right, even when it ain't and, and they the, hard yeah. in the paint, bro. I'm talking about, bro, I done been over compounds, bro, with dudes, and it's they, they give me a run for my money more than them dudes did. Yeah. Bro, they is not bagging down from me. They playing all day. It's like I'm just daddy free is, bro, you know what I mean? So you know how it go, man. It's just and and then being a daddy to all these kids, and I always yo. hear you say like, "Man, y'all need to call me before y'all kids go to juvenile and stuff, and and get at me." And yo. so, how is it dealing with all the moms when you're the guy that's trying to help save the kids? And I think, bro, God just really blessing me, giving and me with strength, your wife, bro. Knowing you got to deal with, right, right. You know what I'm saying? And I think it's just really God blessing me, giving me the strength, bro. Because sometimes I only know how to do it, bro. You feel what I'm saying? Because I deal with a lot of kids yeah. bro and like recently like one of my little I call him my kid but he just got a life sentence for a murder bro mm. great kid though bro you feel what I'm saying it might be crazy when people hear this be like how is he a great kid he got a life sentence yeah. bro it don't take you five seconds to blow your life for five decades bro and that's what he got 51 so you know what I mean it, it, it hits hard because I'm knowing like I can't stop bro cause if I stop my little, my little girl treasure growing up in this world man I mean, so mm -hmm. I got to change the, the what's going on, man, with the kids because I want her to be safe when I'm gone. So I got to create more fridges with these little dudes. You feel me? Most definitely, most definitely. Yeah, so you know how it go. And so, Fridge, you know what I'm saying? I like to, I like to play a game on this show. You know what I'm saying? Like, Fridge, you a, um, you a sports guy. Oh, you off the top. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you a good sports guy, and I know you like football and all that. And I'm going to give you two running backs. Right. And they're going to be in different generations. Yeah. But I want you to let me know which one you are taking. You taking Chris Johnson or Emmy Smith? Two generations. Which one you taking? You ready to go home? Take CJ. We Woo! take Chris Johnson. Chris Johnson, we take taking CJ. And, and, and the reason the hometown. The reason, yeah. And the reason why I say that is Emmett Smith had a great line. Okay. You feel what I'm saying? So, but but Chris Johnson was a game changer. He could take it from the one yard line to the house. You feel what I'm saying? Catch out the backfield. And you know, like, depending on how good the line is, picture Chris Johnson playing behind Dallas line. 
Yeah. Emmitt Smith might not have been Emmitt Smith behind the Titans line. So I'm taking Chris Johnson, man. Chris I'm, taking, Johnson. I'm taking CJ off the top. Okay. Okay. That's good. That's good. That sounds good. Okay. I'm going to give you a one more. It's, it's going to be a little harder. And these two quarterbacks, both of them are just like phenomenal. And uh, I want to know which one is Fridge taking on his team. Peyton Manning or Tom Brady? Tom Brady. That was quick. Ooh. You going to take, you gonna take this Tom on Peyton Manning? Come home, on, bro. it's Tennessee, man. Yeah, I know. I what know. happened, Fridge? I thought you was a Tennessee guy. I just, I just like Tom Brady toughness, okay. bro. You know, Peyton Manning is a machine, but Tom Brady is a beast. So if you hit Peyton Manning a, t- a couple of times, you can rattle him. But Tom Brady got that, 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 uh, Attitude about him that he he's a competitor too. You know what I'm saying? So you might have to put him on his ass every play. Yeah. But Peyton Manning, you hit him right, he might be out for the whole game. You feel what I'm saying? It's like even it's like you having a streaky shooter that can get hot, but then he can go cold. Yeah. Depending on what's going on with the defense. Look at Steph Curry in the finals against Cavs. Yeah. Okay. He went cold a lot. Cold. But if you get you a monster out there who's gonna go go toe for toe every play, Kyrie, I take Kyrie. So that's why I was, when I'm taking Brady, I'm taking that beast over okay. that machine. Because that machine ain't working right, shit can get ugly. Take that beast. Okay, so look. So I, I got to, I gave you some ease. I'm going to give you a hard one. Bad. We're going to basketball because you like basketball too. I know you do. Um, Which one of these guys are you picking to run your team? Steph or LeBron? LeBron, man. <laughs> Shout out to LeBron. Yeah, why LeBron over Steph? Because, I mean, both of their basketball IQ, of course, is great. But, you know, with LeBron, he can affect the game. If Steph ain't scoring, what is he affecting the game from? LeBron can get 10 rebounds, 10 assists. You know what I mean? He can get 40 points. Or he can beat you in different ways. And he's a he's a natural-born leader, bro. He make other people around him better, too. What, um, what makes Michael Jordan the best basketball player? Because he's not my best, but right. who is the best? Is Michael Jordan one of your? Is one of your? Would you say Michael Jordan was the best? I got I got a funny way of saying it. Okay, I think Michael Jordan is the goal, but I think LeBron is the best basketball player. <sighs> th- it's kind of crazy because I say it kind of put both of them on the same. You can't really, you yeah, know. What I'm saying? I say all around basketball player. Like I'm a throwback dude, bro. We used to create players online, bro. It's players that can do everything, and that's what LeBron James is. He a player that can do everything. Mm. So if I had to teach the game to somebody, I would watch him right as passing, rebounding, defense, this, that, another. Bro, Michael Jordan don't make that block against Eagle Dollar. You feel what I'm saying? He don't make that block. Mm. You see what I'm saying? I'm talking about all-around basketball player, bro. LeBron James is the definition. Man, he is all but Jordan, shit, Jordan. man. Jordan, just, it is what it is. I got one more for you, Fridge. And this going to be a... Uh... Patrick Mahomes or Lamar Jackson? I say Pat, man. I say Pat. Okay. Now, I like Lamar. Is he the best? Is, is, is he As the of better right quarterback? Now, they just showed you why. <clears throat> because Pat Mahomes go with what's there. LeBron, I mean, uh, Lamar Jackson, if he would have ran a little bit more, it would have been a different game. So yeah. LeBron, Lamar Jackson at the stage he is, he's still leaving you with what else. Mm-hmm. Patrick Mahomes get them first downs and them touchdowns regardless. So if he got to use his legs, his feet, or his arm, it don't matter. Now Lamar Jackson, he still kind of hesitating Kansas on the City season. had the, the best team this year. In- no, no, okay. I don't think so. Who had the best team? Who you who you feel like, because you a football guy, Fred, who you felt like should have really took it this year? Crazy to say, I think Baltimore. Oh, they def- they yeah. defense was hardcore. You know I mean, they had, they could stop the run. I think Lamar Jackson, you got to think about it, brother. Lamar Jackson make a little bit better decision with his mm-hmm. legs. What you known for doing, yeah, that's a different ball game. It, yeah, You see what I'm saying? That's a different ball game. So that's why I put my homes in front of them because if I got to say if you do something, I got to go with the other guy that's going to do it. Shout out to my homes. Okay, look, Fridge. Top five cats for your artists. Oh man! <laughs> That's, if, hey boy. If, if you can do it, you can't. If hey, you can't, you know what I'm saying. Well, I you get, told me it was free open to ask you whatever yeah, I want to yeah, ask you. Yeah, and then yeah, what he yeah, said? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, he yeah, said yeah. that when he well, came here. Me. God, leave, friend. South okay. and East Side, we even a beef tonight. We gonna try. We trying to get along tonight. Top you know five Nashville top artists. Top five Nashville artists. All time or right now. Should we do all time or right now? Go all time. Okay, I'm gonna go, go all time. time. But when I go all time, then everybody know that 
I'm a little younger than what I what they think <laughs> you know I am. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> off the top, the first three, you got to go Buck Lido, and I'm going to see the paper. <gasps> Buck Lido, see the paper. So if I got four and five... Put my boy Vac D in now off the top. Ooh, shout out to Vac. I like Vac. And and I didn't have him in my top five, but he's yeah. and I'm just yeah. we we this is not a competition thing again. This is this is just more of um we just lifting up our people. So give we got one more. You got you got one more. And since we're going all the time, I, I gotta go, man. I gotta go quantum in there, man. I gotta go quantum. Like I like that top five, bro. I gotta go quantum. I gotta go quantum. I like, you gonna get a lot of flack, bro. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, I'm gonna get a lot of flack you know off the saying? top. And, but you, I know you used to flack right now with everything that yeah, you yeah, got going man. on. Yeah, I don't understand. You know what I'm saying? saying? You know ain't, saying? friend, you ain't dodging no beef. Now, hell time. no, man. Time. I ain't dodging none of that, man. <laughs> Ridge, you know and what I'm saying? okay with somebody disagreeing with what I got going on. See, I'm one of them type of people that. You can come on my page and disagree with what I'm yeah. saying. I, I like I ain't no sensitive dude like, like that. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, so you know they gonna say I'm biased with Vac, but you. I mean, every time Vac get on that mic, Vac can put the work thing. in though. Vac can Vac has, Vac has put the work in. I yeah. think. Now I'm, now I'm gonna tell you like I talked about the other day, man. But I'm gonna mention them. I'm gonna mention like the most slept on too, though. Who? My boy, I wrote a boy, man. My boy ain't never got no verse when he ain't he ain't handling his business on there. But Nashville got a way of like if they ain't feeling how you carry yourself or they think you talk too much <laughs> shit, they ain't gonna never give you hey, that look, love. And 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 I miss with everyone. Yeah, they ain't gonna never give you that but love. But get one, I like how you keep it with your people. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Get one, like, look, Fred. That's how I know you solid yeah. because you gonna make sure you I say your top, people. Because you know I listen to saying? my guys, man. <laughs> I listen to them, bro. You feel <laughs> you know what I'm saying? saying? So it the boy back. This, this y'all friend, you know what I mean? Yeah, this y'all friend, right yeah. here. This y'all real friend, right here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> friend, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Friend ain't dodging no smoke, man. That's Hell what I. Nah, that's nah. what I like about you, friend, because you ain't dodging no smoke, man. You know what I'm saying? And so, friend, think about this, like. In Fridge's mind, what does Nashville do, need to do to like pull together? Like, we need to be more of what. I say for Nashville to pull together, man, we got to realize first, everybody ain't meant to be leaders. Mm. You got to let people who be who why they, they are. Why, why they don't respect, and I want you to keep going with that, but this, why they don't respect when a person like you come around that's actually a leader and and it's showing, like when you got the politics and the regular street guys and the real street guys, like why don't they accept that? Because I'm not what they figure to be like a front guy like I don't wear jewelry. Okay. I don't talk about money. See, people worship money these Ooh, days. Most definitely. But but one thing you're gonna realize with money, you can't buy respect. So they gotta come back around to me either way it go. Oh. <laughs> because the respect is there. And yeah, they can't yeah. purchase that shit. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? So you know, like if I was a guy that had a million chains on and got the sack and all that, yeah. bro, it'll be a whole different topic with Fridge. Yeah. I just know when I do do that, they might not see Fridge <laughs> no more. And I ain't willing to risk that to get the love that they talking yeah. about. Hell nah, no. how you loving your kids right now. Yeah. I, get Fried, I, get, I ain't never coming back you, out. You There's certain <laughs> niggas they gonna get rid of for sure. I mean, okay, so for Fridge, how tempting, tempting has it been since you've been home with you being Fridge? Because I know people been coming at you trying yeah. to get you out there. Yeah. And it's like, man, it's like, I ain't going to say tempting because I know what come with that shit. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm somebody that just did 17 years for 300 X pills. That ain't shit. <laughs> that let me know that they fear my leadership. Yeah. So, when somebody might go to jail for and get back out in a few years, I know I'm never coming back home. So, that lets me know that I can't do certain shit to get bread. Mm -hmm. Is it hard like everybody else? Hell yeah, it's hard. Just fortunate enough, I'm going to get my ass up and go to work and I got some good partners around me. What makes Freeze happy though? Like, um, with Freeze doing everything he's doing for everybody, yeah. what makes Freeze happy? Because you you out here, you're doing, you know, um, every every time you do any kind of event, it's really like the biggest event, you know what I'm saying? Man, hold up, matter of fact, let's go. Hold up. Oh, we've been tripping. We got a book coming out, man. What's up with the? Let's talk about oh, the yeah, book, yeah, Fridge, sure, man. man. For Let sure. me see the book. Let's talk yeah, about the is, book. Man. What's going on? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's it, man. Both Kevin sides of the Fridge, story. Brian, both sides of the story. Now, both sides of the story. Yeah. What's both sides of the story? 
I say because if you know me, you done heard the good and the bad about me, bro. You feel what I'm saying? You done heard the game member. You done heard the going to jail. But if you really know me, you know the good side of me, good dude, mm -hmm. family man, this, that, and other. So I feel like if people going to tell about me, I'm going to tell you both sides. You right. feel what I'm saying? Well, this is what you're going to be getting. So when it came to this book, I think we'll make this book so different from everybody else. And matter of fact, out now. But go ahead. Out now. Out now. now. So I think what we'll make this book different from everybody else's is like I'm, I'm touching every group of people, right? It's mm -hmm. sports, right? It's politics, right? It's Game uh, membership, whether it's uh, criminal justice reform, a college student. Man, I'm touching like so, you gonna learn something from that book. Look, let me, and, and, but let me ask you a question, Freezing. I have I, I have to ask you this: With you coming from where you come from, both sides, you know, being on both sides, like yeah. um, I think it's an impact that you can go deal with these other side people, and they accept you, and it shows a sense of. Oh, anybody can change because if he did it, you know what I'm saying? Anybody can do it. And so is that is that more what's both sides of the story are like now people are accepting you. Yo. Like how how is that them conversations going with these people outside of the hood and the politics that accepting you? Man, it's going it's going, man. It's a blessing, bro. And you know, like I tell people, bro, you gotta be a hell of a guy not to two my own arm. Okay. To be on the news every every most other day, oh, newspaper, and people don't slander your character like, dude, got to be the police. Dude, this. Yeah. I, I mean, I, 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 I vouch for Glenn Funk. Yeah. Right. So, you know, you don't see, like, the average person that's in the streets that go do something like that. Mm -mm. You feel not, what I'm saying? Not at all. Not at all. So, you know, I try to be that, like, my reputation speaks for itself. A person ain't had to question whether I'm straight or not. How do you deal with the people trying to act like, oh, Fred, the police, he messing with Glenn fucking them, and no. when they don't even... Our community don't understand that he's doing something past what we know. Yeah, and then it's all about us having somebody that's sitting down at the round table that ain't on no bogus shit. So the community should be happy that we got somebody sitting down at the Ooh, round like table yeah. that ain't sold themselves out. Yeah, yeah. But 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 the thing is, like, bro, I'm gonna be honest, I've never heard nobody say that. Mm -hmm. Now they probably say it in their little circles, yeah, but right. if it get out to me, they probably don't know how I would take it. Yeah. But due, due to them having lack of understanding, I understand certain things. But I'm gonna address you. It'll be like a man. It ain't going to be no online or nothing. I'll be like, hey, bro, I mean, yeah. why you feel like this? Cause I like yeah, to get an understanding. Facts. That's when I learned. Understanding can... But, but, but where that control, you know what I mean? Because where the control come from you, where you can be like, well, somebody might say something, then you say, man, let me holler at him. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I ain't even, you know what I mean? Because I always try to look at, like, why a person think the way they think. See what I'm saying? Yeah, a lot yeah. of niggas done gave these niggas to say the, the reason to say the things they say. Yeah. So when I was just pop about the blue, they might not know friends, bro. They might say something that they and used to get away with. you might say something, they may be like, oh, okay. I'm yeah, friend. yeah, yeah. So, you know, I try to get an understanding with people, man, and understand, like, okay, bro, the reason why I'm pushing this line because, bro, I was a high school football star. Thanks. I did go to college. Yeah. I wasn't no robber, no jacker, no shooter, but unfortunately, I went to prison. Mm. When I go to prison... I get sentenced to all this time. I'm in the, when they doing the death penalty, I'm at the, the same prison they doing in that. So I done learned and went through a lot of shit. Yeah. And I feel like it was a reason for all that. So if I get out here and don't help motherfuckers, what do they make me? Hey, look, I got a, I got a, um, and it just hit me. It just hit me like a sack of bricks. You know what I'm saying? I meant to ask you something. I need to ask you, um, it's a versus. And I'm a cat. I love Nashville. I really love y'all. Like, y'all don't know how much I love you, but I love y'all. I love rap community. But I need to do a versus real quick, and I didn't need to know who going to win. Oh, man, you put me on. <laughs> <laughs> I, need, I just need to know who going to win on this yeah. one because it, it it just hit me like a sack of bricks when it came to my head. Oh, Air the Boy, look back. Who winning in the versus? It just hit me like a sack of bricks. I was like, okay. Oh, boy, you love that. Boy, look back. Them, them, you know what I'm saying? That's friends. You ain't got to answer it, friends. I ain't, I ain't telling you to answer it. I'm going to give me another juvie juice. You ain't, hit, you ain't hit your juvie juice in a while. Take a uh, sip of your juvie juice and then see if you can answer the question. But it, but, but if you don't answer it, it's cool. Yeah, look back and Elroy. I'm putting y'all in a real, real clutch this morning. Look boy. Back, back and Elroy. In a versus. There you go.
Thank you, O. O, o leave the Juba Juice at the day. Yeah, ain't <laughs> Yeah. Fred, you thought you were finna come here and you just finna get it easy. Now nah, you free. I got, a, I got a big boy here tonight. I feel good. You like that Juba Juice, uh, O? Shout out to Juba Juice, man. This 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 is really good. All right, they they go at it. They go at it song for song, song for man. Song. And right when it get to the winter, man. In and a tie, man. In and a tie, man. Back. Hey, look, this what I, this what I want back to do. Back. Tell Fred. Nick, you from our south and you talking about that end. But anyway, we'll we, we yeah, go yeah, ahead. But no, yeah, 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 I had yeah. to do you like that because I know them your guys, you know what I'm saying? Them your guys. But for real, how are your guys? Uh, what's the conversation going on with you and your guys with all you got going on? Like, yeah. do they feel privileged to talk to Fridge? You know what I'm saying? And do Fridge answer all the calls or what? You know what Man, I'm saying? Me, me and my guys, like like a lot of my own. Uh, because y'all always have big group meetings and stuff I be seeing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like they, they try to figure out how they can help. You okay. know what I'm saying? They, regardless of what my guys got going on, they try to push back and be like, bro, how can I assist? Mm -hmm. so everybody ain't meant to be out front. Everybody okay. ain't meant to do certain things. So, you know, they just try to offer their assistance. You feel what I'm saying? I have lost friends doing this, though. That's what I'm going to say. How many? You know but how, how does that work when you lose friends, Do Do you care? Do you have a have to have a conversation with them? The reason why I lost them, bro, because I don't care to address shit that don't need to be addressed. Yeah. If you got a dude that's getting out here and he doing the right thing, mm -hmm. And you just don't see him every day, but you see him online with his kids and all that. Yeah. Bro, why should you feel like our friendship is in jeopardy yeah. of any kind? Yeah. Well, so if you give me that kind of energy, guess what, bro? You got that. But as you being you, though, Fridge, and being, do you think some people fear of, like, when you are getting a little bigger? You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to think, when they see you on the stage with the Charleston Rice and, like, you on real life street stars, bro. Like, that's one of my favorite platforms to watch. That's one of the platforms I look up to. Shout out to Real Life Street Stars. And so are you having conversation with guys like what you're doing so they can understand? Because everybody might not understand what you got going on unless you explain to them. Yeah, and I explain. I explain to those who deserve to be explained to. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? I had a couple of partners, brother. You know, I might address something on a podcast on here that might relate to them. Yeah. And they might feel like, damn, is he throwing slick shots at me? No, yeah. I'm not going to shy away from topics just because you did what you did. Yeah, nigga. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Or what you got going on. I talk about guys going to jail. Mm -hmm. I got, you know how many niggas I got in jail? Yeah. But I stand What on, are you, okay, okay, good. Yeah. I'm sorry, go there. So what are you doing for the guys that you know kind of still doing the wrong thing and you know what's right to do? I, are, are you talking to them as in fridge or are you, or you just kind of shying away from that conversation? I mean, they know what they do, so I shy away from the conversation, to okay. be honest. But my, okay. my, I feel like my job is if I'm in a position to deal with these lawmakers, I'm going to try to make it as easy for you as possible What's because that? I know they over us in people. Mm -hmm. So you might still be hustling, bro, but I'm going to make the way for us and you and everybody else that they don't over us you with this. But when you get caught up, to every action is a reaction. They gonna have a reaction to what you do. Yeah. But I'm gonna be that guy, man. This is a good lawyer. This is what it is. Mm -hmm. yeah. This prison straight. This. Is, I just feel like we never had the assistance, even though it's they doing wrong. Mm -hmm. We never had that guy in the city that we can go through and be like, "Hey, bro, this lawyer full of shit." Yeah. Fast. This where you go. Yeah. This how you Ooh, fight this. Definitely. You know what I mean? Yeah. You gotta realize I brought. I, I helped 334 people cases on getting out of prison or getting it, they send this resol a resolve. See, friends, I so, think that's. Um, why Why is what you doing over their heads, though? I just want to know, like, Man, is it because they haven't been through it or? Yeah, I can say that because, you know, in prison, bro, my name is the truth. They love me, bro. Your name the truth out here, though. I like it. So, you know, they, they really, but when you're going through a struggle and somebody out there really putting that footwork in for it, you respect it more, you cherish it more. Like, with me changing laws out here, if a person don't ever get in trouble, they really don't even really give a, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So it's like, through lack of understanding and experience. You feel what I'm saying? So that's why they really don't look at it like that. Mm -hmm. To their family the situation. You know what I mean? And then, and so, uh, I saw you work with a, a lot of different groups, Gideon Army yeah, and yeah. a lot of different groups. What is what is Fridge add, adding to those groups? And how is Fridge getting funded for all the stuff you do? Because you are doing a lot of stuff in the community. Is Fridge funding that stuff itself or is Fridge reaching out to everybody or, you know I mean, getting that funded? So, so when it go with people I partner with, you know, I'm big on 
Just like I said, could nobody tell me who to deal with? Okay. Well, Gid- oh, most Gid- definitely. Gideon's yeah. Army had their situation, right? Uh-huh. Where the news people made them look like they was the worst people in the world. Mm-hmm. But I've been that person that was a gang lead on the news. And guess what the news do to me now? I'm the advocate. So I know how things can change and how people will look at you. So I never judged Gideon's Army for some shit that the news was saying. Yeah, yeah. So if I can help Gideon's Army in any way to help our people, I will. Because mm-hmm. at the end of the day, Gideon's Army was a black organization that was fighting mm-hmm. for millions of dollars. Most so if, Megan, if if Gideon's Army is not fighting for millions of dollars, mm-hmm. bro, they wouldn't even made the news. They wouldn't have been a threat. They was only a threat because of what they was fighting for and what they was doing for the people. So me doing the research that I know, every big black organization has been infiltrated in this country. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So if that's Nashville and it's a town that's doing this like this, getting his arm was public enemy number one. And so if 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 um if the state is giving out money right. and I don't know how that stuff works, yeah. I don't know if you know how this stuff works. Um, why did why, why did they're not giving fridge the real money fridge need? Because fridge is making a real change, and it actually takes resources for money sure yeah. to make that turn over. So why ain't they giving fridge the money? Because one thing I'm gonna say, fridge, I, I'm not your yeah. everyday right. friend and right. talk to you every day. But this is what I know: if they're giving you money, you're making sure it's going to the right place. Right. Okay. So why ain't they filling fridge up? Well, first of all, shout out to the NFL and Ramon Foster because. Okay. They gave me $10,000 of grant when I got out of prison, a social injustice grant. I, you deserve it. So uh, they got us kicked off. You know what I mean? We did so much in the community with that 10000 and made it look like it was 100000 Oh, definitely. So we made it by the feeling. But I honestly feel like, like it was. A, it's a guy from the mayor's office named Ron Johnson. Been 100 with me. He, got, he got me a $5,000 grant. You see what I'm saying? Other than that, bro, I ain't got no other grants, bro. Mm. Ain't nobody reached out and been like, hey, can I help you do the things that you might not know about? But I think, honestly, bro, they fear me. And the reason why I say that is when you can get the people together and you really can be a real movement, the reason why you don't fund a dude like Calvin Bryant, Fridge, Mm -hmm. is because you don't want to see it happen. (laughs) Because Nashville, Tennessee, you got this teen violence going on. You You got a dude right there that can really, with the right resources, Make a lot of things cease, but you don't want it to cease. I talked to Paper about this. Right. Uh, I interviewed Paper. Shout out to Paper. Yeah. I messed with Paper, and I brought you up in his interview. And uh, this is what I brought you up about. You sent out a text, and you said this. You said, hey, um, Eddie George, right. why ain't y'all hiring Big Fridge yeah. with that football program? Right. Why ain't they hiring Big – hold up. TSU – yeah. If y'all want to get y'all sports program up, if y'all want the support from Nashville, Tennessee, you have to dig in with people like Fridge. Yeah. And so why ain't they hiring Fridge for their sports program? And you've been there. I feel like it's a disconnect because if you think about it, not only do you need somebody that can go in those trenches in them neighborhoods and tell them parents, look, I was in that position. Facts. And threw my life away. While in college, uh-huh. I mean, what more can you get? I know football, and I know what you don't want to do. It's the right so move. It's the right move, but I feel like a lot of times, bro, it's like you want somebody to be in the trenches like that. Because if it's the right, look, I went to Tennessee State University. Yeah, okay. I know football. I can go in those. I know when it comes to them dogs, it's certain neighborhoods you got to go Forget in. Forget football. Yeah. I'm going to say this, Fridge. Right. The impact. Right. If you're hiring Fridge for the football program, Eddie George, you are crying about people from Nashville coming to your program. Right. You got somebody right here as in Fridge that can help that happen. And can mentor the kids on what Ooh, not on to do. On top of that. And so why are they not hiring Fridge? And and, and, and we, we want that. And, and you know, I put the take. It was shared so many times, bro. Yeah, I love. I was. And they tagged in it so I much. So I, I'm a George fan, bro. You know, yeah, I'm a me Titan. too. So he was tagged so much that he got to know. Did my he reach name out to anything? Now. Nobody reached. Oh out. come on, Eddie. Nobody reached out now. Nah. Wow. So it was really on deaf ears, bro. I guess they thought it was gonna calm down and stuff like that. But you know, I just think it'll be a good look, bro. I think it'll be a great look. You feel what I'm saying? So you know. When them kids, when I get up there and talk, like I talk to the basketball team, Penny brought me up. What would you do? Okay. So if Fridge is hired uh, for any sports program, I want to be football. 
what is Fridge changing? What is Fridge doing to make sure that that they're getting an extra look? I say um, leadership, bro. Like I feel like every guy got some leadership in them. And I'm going to put them in a position where they can make the right decisions and feel right making those decisions. Mm -hmm. Because you look at it, bro, they only one decision away from going in. Look here, bro. I was in there with Corey Bay at River Bend, bro. Mm. So I know one decision can make a kid, you know what I mean, life change. Thank you feel you. what I'm saying? So on the court and off the court, I'm pushing. They're going to be better men with me being right there. Because guess what? The first thing a kid tell you these days if they in school, because most of the kids in school now want to be thugs. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? And most of the thugs will wish they was in school. So I got both sides. Yeah. So yeah. I'm going to tell you what's going to happen over here. But I'm going to tell you, if you don't make it, you might not get the love that you was going to get. But I'm going to teach you how to be a better man. Because mm. I didn't make it. People thought I was going to go pro. Oh. Mm. I went to the, I ain't go, I, went, I ain't go to Penn State. I went to got, the state you Penn. You got NFL football playing the stuff is is uh promote you and yeah, and, yeah, and, and, yeah, and embracing me, they you, they you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. And, and, and so yeah. And so so free so in prison, if you if you gave me like a how your prison sentence was, yeah. was it rougher at the top or at the bottom? Was it tougher like how did it I just wanna know like even when you first went in there, did you have to make a decision when like I'm done with everything and I'm and I'm fighting for a new me, or did you kind of indulge? Man, look, I'm gonna be honest. Or it's like financially. Because you were saying that. on your Instagram one time you was, you fight over a hundred bun or something. You said one time you said uh, 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 <laughs> well, <I'm> so. <laughs> You know, I'll be you playing said, a lot too. I, so I don't know what hundred bun with Vincent. I like that. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. I know if I'm a bun or something, wrestling, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know, I, I was just one of them type guys and I was always good financially. And, uh, okay. So my people made sure I was good and I'm always making sure myself good. But, you know, I had to indulge and when I say by endorsement, I had to stand on what I was a part of. Most definitely. So every day it was a chess match on not crashing out. Mm -hmm. So yeah. if I'm not crashing out, I got to make the best decision for me and my circle of guys that's around me. Yeah. So I had to be a thinker at all times. So it would never no day where I didn't think that something could go wrong. Mm -hmm. But what that did was it it make you to like, if you want to stop doing anything, you got to get fed up. Yeah. So I got tired of niggas, bro. Mm-hmm. Be honest, and I got tired of running a grown man daycare. Right. Don't rob him. Don't you go fight yeah. him. Ooh, Look, I'm gonna talk ooh, to the leaders. It's a job. It's a whole good. job. It's a job. Yeah. So it made me so fed up that when I got out, I had no more time for grown men. Mm -hmm. So I pulled into the children. But every day in there, it was a struggle mentally because I know a decision of somebody else can cost me my freedom inside ooh. the jail because you can get locked up in jail. Oh, you, you People go to jail don't know in that, jail. You go you to jail, jail in jail. jail. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, for me to be a guy that went through 10 and a half years and never went to max with the kind of name that I had, mm -hmm. man, that's good. And so, Listen. and even with, um, with you having a big voice that you, that you got, like how do you choose like what you speak on? And I'm just giving you an ex example in this and I had to throw this out there like if you're looking at we might be looking at like a cub and yeah. buck beef, you know what I'm saying? And not no beef, yeah. but just the, the going back and forth. Because that could have been back in somebody yeah, else. Right. Where is Fridge standing in and saying enough is enough? Because you do got a voice. So how do you use your voice and how do you know when to use your voice? Well, let's 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 get some understood. With cook up and buck. I haven't never been around both of them like that, okay. but I respect for them. Most definitely. So I respect their position and what they And I was just the using them. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But like with with, with with Vac and people like that, like, bro, I, I know when to when to put my input in and mm -hmm. when I don't really focus on the B because just say just say Buck and Cooker, for example. Okay. They was homeboys. Yeah. Most definitely. Well, a lot of times homeboys gonna bump heads. It's, yeah. I, I pay attention to the crowd and the mm -hmm. spectators. Yeah. Because like one time, Elroy and a uh, paper bumped heads. Yeah. Guess what I let the crowd know? Man, if they do get them up as men, y'all won't see it. Don't even. So I'm going to be the enforcer enough for them two to be like, look, y'all can do whatever y'all want to do. But we ain't going to do no entertainment for everybody right. else that's right. down there push. So sometimes yeah. you, you got to push your line on the people who's involved. You got to push your line on the instigators mm. to let them know this is what it ain't going to be and this is yeah. what it ain't going to be. You feel what I'm yeah. saying? So, you know, sometimes it be too far out of pocket. Mm -hmm. But I feel like, look, man, you know, it's okay to disagree. Homeboys get them up. Well, That's what I had to learn, bro. Yeah. Like when you when, just say I got a homeboy that ain't see Hoover. Uh -huh. We all five dudes. Yeah. Love him to death. But I was a part of GD. Mm -hmm. 
You might got to get them up with my homeboy. I got to put my feelings in my pocket. Because two of your homeboys going at it, but that's what I do know. But Fridge, you are so solid with people. So how do you handle that though? Because like both of them, hold up. If I'm okay, if I'm your homeboy and O is your homeboy, and you just the person, you know how to be a friend. And so we getting them up, both of us looking at you like Fridge, like, so how are you kind of navigating through that the way i navigate it is it's a reason why we got what we at okay so you was bullshitting by doing this you was bullshitting do, do, by doing that so y'all well, i'm gonna sacrifice my feelings and let y'all get them up before everybody get involved Ooh. so before i let everybody get involved and we have a ride or we have a shootout out here on yeah. the street y'all gonna sacrifice all that bullshit y'all been yeah. doing go on in there and one thing i learned when they do go on in there guess what they'll be all right <laughs> they'll live to see the ball but hold up Thank you for I, shout out to Fridge. I'm glad you, this is shit. This is epic. Um, back in the day when we was coming up, that's what it was about. So how did it go from like we could all in the hood get them up and fight to now we trying to shoot each other? Social media. Don't nobody want to get their ass kicked on camera. <laughs> no matter what else we took back in the day or what else we gave out, it wasn't no camera. If you wasn't there, you didn't see it. It's social media. Ooh, social I didn't think about media that. gonna catch you on that. It's going to catch your arm. And it ain't going to be about the ass when you took. It's the comments that they joking on it. Ooh. So if you can keep it offline, you can get it done. So just say if you do got two individuals having a problem, if they mad enough to take it offline and handle their business as men, they can walk away. But at the age of freeze, it's like you fighting at this age. Oh, yeah. Hell, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, for real. No, I'm just. No, nah, because the way yeah, I put it see. is I okay. feel like as a man, I don't want to walk around and fight. But if I got to do something in Walmart, do whatever I got to do <laughs> to get out of that situation. I'm in Walmart. You going to whoop me, I'm going to whoop you. One of the two. I just hope I don't lose on camera. Because somebody going to lose. You feel what I'm saying? You know what I mean? So, you know, yeah. Can you take your L if you lose, though? Can you? Or do I, you I feel like as oh, a man, I, gotta see you again. I, should, I should be able to take my I ain't never took no L. So, I can't say how to. See, wait, but, but as a man, I'm going to stand fight. on. Yeah, 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 okay. Yeah, yeah. All right, I just so answered. I'm gonna stand on. I tell another nigga he should took it took a L like a man. So I gotta take my. <laughs> I gotta take my man. I gotta take my. I'm gonna start working back out now since you don't put me on yeah, spot you, like you that. Got, nigga you know might catch me hitting the job. They might man. run up on you or something. <laughs> yeah. You know make their name. I'm whooping be on camera, you know, man. Friends, you done gotta look comfortable. You yeah, done gotta yeah, look yeah, family. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. And then somebody come test free. <laughs> Fridge on Juba Juice, you know that shit. It took that hell. Then that loss, Instagram. and then you ain't see you oh, ain't took a loss man. in a long time, but you yeah. got to take a loss to be a boss, right? No, <laughs> I, don't know. I think the nigga that made that up took some L's, and he just wanted to be a boss. Like I'm hoping I ain't got to take one no to be L's. a boss. I'm all right where I'm at now. Yeah, man. If I know it's somebody out there that can do it, bro, you feel what I'm saying? I'm getting old. I'm getting enough fault it, bro. So, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just want to be able to fight another, keep a nigga out of my head. You know what I mean? Uh, you know what I mean? You know we getting over it. Yeah, how long ago? Yeah. You five minutes. You got to have some you, whole you, game on. You, you better have go home knock game. him out. <laughs> I won't knock him out in the first 30 seconds. I'm putting the hole. <laughs> Y'all got to have a mean hole game. Don't you got them hole game, you straight. Uh, you, yeah, you straight uh, with a hole game. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. my goodness. Yeah. Hey, Fridge, um, I brought you here to get your flowers. Like, because you has, you, you done changed the freaking community. How you, do you ever sit back and think about, like, dang, I done changed laws, like, Again, that's be, do you ever just sit back and think about it? Like, man, I done trained laws. I ain't took no laws. Ain't nobody beat me up in a while. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, man. It, you know what I'm it, it's definitely like, bro, I sit back sometimes and be like, damn, I done came a long way. Hey. Bro. Like, and just knowing that I got plenty of way to go. You feel what I'm mm-hmm. saying? But getting my flowers, I respect that, bro. But there's so much more to be done. Like, for example, I got a call. I got to meet with the TDOC tomorrow. They let me come back inside of where I was locked up at. Wow. Talk to the to, to the prisoners, bro. And the prisoners hyped about me coming back. So that just really like that's giving me my flowers to go in there and motivate somebody else. Like, look, bro, living out here, bro. You know what I mean? So you as know. a as a as a family to you and as us appreciating what you do, what can we do for free is just to show our appreciation. Because you see, this, this, this why this why I don't like my guys like you, Fridge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like y'all a lot, but this why I don't like about y'all. Yeah. 
Because y'all don't never want to accept Yo, yo. The, the climate that y'all done created and the push, like, it ain't too many people I add to Kwani and you one of them. Like, I hold, I hold Q, and I know they get tired of me saying it, but I hold Q to the, to the top of what I can hold them. And for him to change a generation like he has in East Nashville, you have done the same thing in South. And so, again, I ask you, what do you think you deserve or the respect you deserve to show so we can show that we appreciate you? You got guys like me. I've been following you before you knew me. You know what I mean? And I done followed your journey for years now. We going to buy the book. Right. <laughs> we going to buy that. that. That's already bought. Man, you right, bro. Like guys like us, uh, bro, because I can't even. That's hard for me to answer that question because I'm so it's, used to not. You so used to you so used yeah. to giving. You know what I'm saying? You ain't used to receiving. And but you gonna receive from if you're a last subscribe. So like you the you, you yeah. that nigga you yeah. that you that yeah. you that, you, that, okay. you know what I mean? I'm a, I'm gonna keep it real with you, bro. You know what I mean? And, and this is how people can repay me, bro. It ain't really just giving me nothing. But don't don't take those around you for granted, bro. Okay. And I'm gonna tell people this right now, bro. Like my daddy was the greatest dude in the world. Bro. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I've never went to jail a day in my life. And the one time I go to jail, I lose my daddy. I lost him while I was locked up. And it's like, I, I beat myself down for that because I'm like, man, damn, man. You know what I mean? It's like so much time I could have had with my daddy and I and I took it for granted. Mm -hmm. So I say, man, whatever you got going on with your immediate family, bro, just try to make it right, man. Right. You know what I mean? You try to yeah. live in a day that you might not see them folks no more. You feel what I'm saying? So just make it right with people that you feel like you should make it right with, bro. Right. I promise you, we all do that to each other. It'll be a. It's gonna be better out here, bro. There's people out here ain't talked to their brothers and sisters and mamas in years. Yeah, facts. Oh, stupid shit. Mm -hmm. But you would get into it with your girlfriend, this, that, and other, and forgive them like a motherfucker. Yeah, that's that's crazy. That's so you know crazy. what I mean? Them people was in the tub with you, bro. Them people looked out for you when you before the social media, or whatever. Man, make it right, bro. Even sometimes just a man, I love you. A text or something make somebody day. Hey, yeah. But you know, people dying out this motherfucker at a rapid pace, and ain't nobody just really. Are you checking on your people? At a at a solid rate, depending on like how busy you are, like how you still find at that time to check on like you know your your your, your sisters and your mom yeah, and your yeah, cousins. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? off the rip, but I okay. do need to do better because I be so busy. But it ain't no excuse. But it's like people pass and shit. I be like, damn, I could have called them. I could have did this. So I got to get better. So when I'm telling everybody to do this, I'm include myself. Yeah. So you know what I mean? Just man, them texts and shit ain't nothing but a, a second. You feel what I'm saying? But they can make it somebody a day. Yeah, facts, facts, yeah. facts. Yeah. And look, and so look, I gotta um you smart. You I, I like I I like him because he's smart. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you you, you, you go. good, you smart. So look, so look, so look, I gotta do another uh versus. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I gotta do another versus because it just dawned on me. It just hit me like a sack of bricks again. <laughs> it just um if these guys are in the verses, and I'm gonna go old school. And you know these guys, but I gotta use them. Um, is Boogie a cool daddy fresh winning? Who who's winning in the verses? Boogie a cool daddy fresh. Boogie. We gonna go with, go with Southside again. Yeah, we're going. We're going, we're going with Southside we're going again. Boogie. We're you going know, boogie. shout to cool daddy fresh. I'm going with Boogie. Man. I'm going with Boogie. Man. Hey. Uh, <laughs> hey, Fred. That's what I'm saying. Um. You have to be a boss to not care about your answers. And you don't answer every question tonight. Right. I beat C Wiz up. He didn't answer a damn thing. Yeah, C Wiz stayed out there that smoke, didn't he? C Wiz. C -Wiz. C -Wiz. That, that's why I said, when, when I told my boy, oh, I said, Fridge with all the smoke. You know what I'm saying? That's why I wanted, you know what I mean? Fridge, yo. But look, Fridge, it's been a great show. I appreciate you for coming. Um, What's, what's, What's Fridge? What are you doing um, concerning that your word means something? Like, when it comes to, especially Nashville, we ain't just that big of a community, but, like, your word means something. So what is Fridge doing next that we can support? I know the book, that, but what do we, you know what I mean, with Fridge, like, what is his next goal? 
Yeah, my next guy, I got two of them that I'm working on okay. right now, man. I feel like that legal things like really bother me. You feel mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So I'm about to um, start something for high school students like um, prepping them to be lawyers. You mm-hmm. feel what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I got this saying with uh, young age uh, girls like, why date a D-boy when you can represent one? Mm. So I say that in a way like our women so much are trying to get something out of somebody and okay. get the purse or get the body done or whatever. When you can do what you need to do, go to school and represent these niggas for the same thing and more than what you giving to them. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know, I'm trying to raise these kids to know like the law has been written against us. What's so we got to prep our kids to be able to defend whatever go on. Right. So I'm going to start them early mm. and hope they go into law school or whatever they do. But if we yeah. raise young snipers with the law, yeah. by the time they get to that age, they're going to be like, they know what they need to know so it can't be used against us because it's been used against us. And then with the, uh, I'm no longer a part of any organization or nothing like that. So, you know, I want to start some kind of gang prevention thing. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I want the city to start off with me and kind of like just take my word for it. You got to start small. Mm-hmm. So I know it's a lot of beef around the city and what's going on. We can start off just small yeah. with getting an understanding, like with no fly zones. And what I mean like by that is you can't control who beef with who. Okay. But when it comes to little league football games and places like that that you know everybody got a problem if something happened with, mm-hmm. we can start there. Thanks. Because the kids, bro, that's where you're going to get the smoke from everybody. At. Yeah, yeah. You see what I'm saying? So, you know, I just think, like, just follow my lead because – and and then even sure. even in business, and I don't know if you know this, but your name carries weight, and that's why I always um uh, anytime I watch your live, and you going on, uh, say for instance like this, for fridge if he Swiss beats, and Alicia Keys is getting held by Usher, like how is fridge feeling about that? If that's fridge wife, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, what what you say, me? I gotta go entertain because you know your wife better than anybody. Okay, you know what I'm saying, well, is Fred comfortable with his wife being held by all the, the kids? You, you know, you your family guy. Is Fred comfortable with his wife being held? If entertainment wise, I mean, I, I just feel like you gotta know your wife, bro. Okay, you got to know your wife because regardless of how Swiss Beats feel, Usher oh, did it. <laughs> so what was oh, she supposed to do? Smack him or what did oh, you want her to do? You feel what I'm saying? What would have done? If it if, if it wasn't in rehearsal or nothing, and not even, hey hey hey, I, I'm gonna let her take care of that. You know, what I mean? she <laughs> ought to address okay. that. Like, okay. hey man, if you feel like that wasn't supposed to be done, <laughs> shoot him a text. Let him know, hey man, it wasn't straight. Now, how he responded to that, I'll take care of it. Okay. You see what I'm saying? That, yeah, if yeah, 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 yeah. Any kind of, yeah. I'll take care of from there. Yeah, you yeah, know yeah, what I'm saying? I got to. I got to. But, but Fred just comfortable with his wifey because you got a beautiful wife, and you got yeah. kids. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? She, Fred just comfortable with the wifey. Connecting with men and stuff like nah, that. Hell, no, 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 no. It depends on what kind of way it is. <laughs> no, nah, nah, I depends on what kind of way it <laughs> is, bro. She ain't no entertainer. Yeah, but you, you out here, uh, you dealing with all kind of moms. Yeah, yeah, so. I am, I am <laughs> dealing with all kind of moms. And saying? she got to accept that. Yeah, you I'm can't accept with dads. I'm all righteousness. Okay. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm all righteousness. Hey, <laughs> yeah. Fritz, I want you to do me a favor. I want you to encourage the Nashville community to do the right thing. And we go, we go fall it out. Juve juice. Encourage. And what I, what I want to say to the Nashville community, man, you know, we take second to nobody, man, but you know, it's strength in numbers, man. And unity is everything, bro. We done seen what happens if we handle things as individuals, right? It's success or whatever it is. Now let's see what happens when we come together. You feel what I'm saying? Make make the world know who Nashville is, and we got we got just the right people right here to make it happen, straight up. <clears throat> Look, again, oh, I always say this. I know y'all going to be jealous if Fridge is on the If Your Live subscribe show. Yeah, yeah. But guess what? I've been contacting him. You know what I'm saying? I kept in touch. And when the, the book is out, yes, the book is out. Hey, make sure. I always tell people this, Fridge. Support is in money. Mm-hmm. Um, You can repost my stuff. You can do all that. But when somebody is coming out with something that you can support, 
Especially somebody that's actually working in the community right. and Put doing the right in. thing in the community and that we trust to do the right thing is team free. So why should they buy your book? Just just give us something. We're going to end out with that. Why should they buy growing up in the inner city project, South Nashville, impoverishment community can be vigorous Destined for greatness, Calvin Fridge Brian becomes a high school football star and a leader for his entire community. Why should they buy both sides of the story, Calvin Fridge Brian? Man, guess what? I can just see that. That's still a big football name. <laughs> you know yes, what I'm saying? Yes, think, yeah, you, yeah, yeah. Think about it. That you know what I mean. Yeah. And so, why should they support you and buy this? And they should support me and buy it because I'm Cashville, bro. Ooh. Cash, I done touched every base it could be. You feel what I'm saying? I done been somebody to help tell our community. I done been somebody to help build up the community. The kids want to play sports. I done play sports. Mm-hmm. I done been places that they don't want to go to. I done changed laws, bro. We're going to start. I'm, I'm going to end with this because I got to put you in the, another position. I got I to I gotta put him in this position. I see. Kevin Free, cause he, he, he accepted all the smoke, so I'm breaking all the smoke. So we got uh, four sides in Nashville, east, north, west, south. Give me four kings of each of those sides. We're going we gonna to name you for South because I'm, I'm, I'm going to put you in there. Give me a name for North, West, and East that we are uh, picking to representative. Um, we are doing four kings of each side on Fridge team. Fridge and give me three more from each side. Hey, um, east, I'm going to say Kwane. Facts. Oh, that's dope. North. Say Robert Sherrill. Woo! Robert Sherrill! Shout out to Sherrill. Robert Sherrill. Wes? Wes? Wes. What's the name? I don't know off the top. I, I say pistol, but pistol ain't just ready to be. No, pistol. Wait, 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 wait. He goes. Oh, you said right, right now, just a kid. I mean, now you can uh, say, uh, I, I, I like the pistol. I like nah, it. Pistol for sure, then. Pistol yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, pistol for sure. Yeah. You know what I mean? I think um, Wes I think Big Pistol. I want to shout out to somebody uh, from, he, he from East West, before we go, that you are, like, you really, like, it ain't too many people music that you promote, but you are supposed to be like, Deuce. Deuce, my nigga. You always yeah, off the top. Deuce, Deuce OG. Yeah. Yeah. I got Deuce. Deuce you know solid, man. Deuce yeah. solid, man. I got mad at him. I got mad at Deuce. You know I got mad at you for a minute, but you, you, my, you my friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I got mad at him, but he's my friend. But you always like, you no, know what I'm saying? No, Deuce, Deuce 100, man. You know what I mean? That's somebody that I look at it like a real friend. Bro. Yeah, yeah. We had him grown, man, conversations, no, man, regardless, bro. But he, he somebody I look at like a real OG type of dude. You feel what I'm saying? And great dude. He don't use his power to his advantage. You, you feel know, what I'm saying? You know what I so, mean? And he, 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 he stay humble. And that's why, that's why, that's why I love him. And, and, and he a prime example, like in the rap game, that ain't about how good you are. Because dude be bringing pressure. You feel what I'm saying? And he, he, he keeping it real. He pressure. Yeah, so, you know, it's just a state of music right now, bro. It's just. He pressure. Right hit. Man, look, Fred, get what Fred, you know, that's why, that's why I want you to come because this is what Fred told me. He said, I ain't dodging no smoke. And you yeah, did, nah, you know what I'm nah, saying? Even, you know what I mean? Nah. <laughs> so, I appreciate your Fridge, man. Um, make sure, again, make sure you cop the book. On all platforms, and um, I even put the link in my bio. Once you uh, once you do everything, I put the link in my bio, so y'all can go in my bio and get the book. It's there. Appreciate your fridge, man. Like I said, you and I already encouraged the hood. We, we come. We ain't giving you no flowers because your your journey ain't over with yet. Right. But we just giving you your props on letting you know, like, keep on doing what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Have anybody been in your wife DMs or anything that we need to be aware yeah. of? You know what I'm saying? Because we know they coming for her. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just they, to, they so if anybody's in your wife DM, can you just give them something or say something so look, they'll stop or something? Look here, man. If you in my wife DM, <laughs> she got three bad ass kids, man, that you not gonna last long. It ain't got nothing to do with me. She got four bad kids, matter of fact. She got an older child. You don't want that smoke with them. So I know you ain't spending the night. You ain't chilling or doing none of that. You just gonna hit her. If you get to that point, what? and that's it, because you ain't gonna deal with them more. <laughs> they ain't trying to deal with them big dog. You Reason see what I did? Man, what? You know? and I got a little ball spot right there from him. Hey, hey. Man. Yo, kid, man. Shout out to Fridge, man. Yeah. Stay out his wife's team. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? 
three, four kids. You ain't got to do that. But again, I appreciate your friends, man. Much this, love, this bro. Is, shout out to Juve Juice again. Juve Juice, man. Juice, friends don't even drink. He came on If You're Live subscribe show. He, he didn't drink on y'all show. You know what I'm saying? Nah, shout nah, out nah. to Juve Juice again. Nah, so, yeah, sure. man. Appreciate your friends, man, for coming, man. It was a blessing. It was an honor. And please, I'm, I'm begging you, keep doing what you do. It's working for us. It's working for us. It's working for a lot of people in the community. Like, they just, you're going to have 1% that hate, but the 99, like, understand what you're doing, and we bagging you up. So anytime that you got anything going on, anything, let us know. We promoting sure. it like we promoting the book on this show, and we got you. So shout out again to Fridge. If anything you want to say to these people before we go. I appreciate, it. I appreciate anything, man. I appreciate anything. Much love. Cashville, man. Cashville?